yes, yes and no, and then finally yes to both. <laughs> so get to you make it, baby. Fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. I'm king because I provided a light to lead my people forward in the darkness. They have made my fictions realities. What's up guys and welcome to review my review of Walking Dead. Kind of a reaction slash review of the series episode by episode so far. So obviously I'm going to talk about episode one first. Um gonna show you a few pictures as we talk. Um but yeah I just watched it back now just to refresh my memory. And yeah, it starts with Rick and he's in like a flashback dream kind of thing. He's got this long beard and I don't think any of us got what was going on at the time. To this day, we probably don't. Like, it's like a flash forward or flash back. I don't know. That's a flash forward to, like, what could be after what they're going through in this season eight. Um, and, yeah, it's just a, like, a setup to the whole, for the whole season, if you know what I mean. Like, they roll up to, like, where the saviors are, where Negan and all them are hanging out and, like, shoot up the place, basically. As part of their plan, I guess, and the whole episode is like them talking about what they're gonna do. Like it's all about like hope and motivation and all that. All that. So from there, they're in their eyes, they're gonna win. Like obviously, the good guys always win. Um, and I've got a few pictures, just showing that. I'm probably gonna get some more than I've got at the minute, but yeah. So they're all just standing around talking. Ezekiel, Maggie, all them, all like the main characters, and everyone's like in different areas. Like, all according to the plan, like, Rick's laid out for how they're going to take over and kill Negan and the whole crew. And, yeah, as you probably know from the previous season, uh, Dwight is like a triple crosser or double crosser traitor. Like, he's with the saviors, but he's kind of working with Daryl to help Rick and, and the crew. So, so it's like a, a foggy area. And later on you get to see Eugene as well, who's defected if you like but we don't know how how far that's gone if he's actually going to betray Rick and the rest of them uh, we don't know but yeah quite a motivational episode um, and at the at the end there they roll up to the to where Negan and his crew are hanging out and like Gregory's there as well and then towards the end of the episode he um he gets saved by what's his name uh, Gabriel what, or Gabriel attempts to save him, and then Gregory somehow gets away, and great Gabriel's left there, and he ends up in a room with Negan at the end of that episode, and it cuts to like the the end of that episode. So like it's a real, you know, it's like oh my god, what's happening? Is he dead? Is he not? Nobody knows. He's in a room with Negan, obviously, and Negan gives one of his crazy lines, you know, something like. Have you got your crapping pants on or something? And is that the door? I keep hearing a knock at the door, but it's not. It's just a wind swinging the the doorbell, the doorknob, which is weird. But yeah, back on track. Um, so they're attacking the saviors. They've got this big plan. It's all go, go, go. Explosions to draw the walkers in to surround the sanctuary, I think it's called, yeah. Excuse me, and all the little details, I might get hung up on a few, but no, I did just watch it, um, so, so like, it's a lot to take in, like an hour of, or 40 minutes. Um, but yeah, there's so much going on in this new season, and the anticipation has just killed so many people for so long. So just to see the characters again, and see where they are, how far they've come, it's like emotional for, for anyone who's watched it, as long as I have. So that's episode one, really. Um, and more to come. And in, in, obviously, you, you get really impatient uh, for the next episode. Like I always do, I can't wait a week. Don't know how I do. Um, but then a lot of different, like personal battles come up with characters, good and bad. Like on both sides, you see uh, the struggle of some characters, or how they've changed in some way. Um, but more of that after I watch episode two.
yeah, so season 8 of Walking Dead, episode 2, just watched it, and yeah, the main feeling you get is like, yeah, they're all in, in deep crap, basically, they're all in different situations, some worse than others, um, but the main thing is, um, a character from season 1, Morales, is back, um, at, to Rick's surprise, and um, it's just after a scene when Rick's had some nasty fight with some guy, and the guy's been like killed, impaled on like a post that was stuck to the wall from some shelving or something, and Rix has walked into the next room, and he's realised he's killed the father of some kid, some baby that's just in the cot in the next room, and there's a scene, just him looking in the mirror, and the baby's cot below, and it's just like he's realised that he's that's what he's fighting for, his own family, but at the same time, he's killing innocent people technically. And this kid is, this baby is like, paying the price for that. And he's real, and the guilt is setting in. With Rick, there's always a bit of guilt, you know, because he is human after all. And but you want your main character to be tough, you know that, obviously. But you, you know he's going to get through it. But then, he turns around to find Morales, character from season one, that seems pretty pissed. Obviously, when you, you, you're where you're live, the guy's attacking where you're living. So it's kind of like a vicious circle if you like from season one all the way here um but yeah so that that is left on the cliffhanger um what's his name that geezer gets shot so his husband's really upset um and yeah that's in that shooting scene but it looks like looks like that they're, they're winning at the moment and from ezekiel's point of view um he's just chatting some awesome lines putting some water Yes, yes and no, and then finally yes to both. <laughs> so get to you make it, baby. Okay, you know that. Fake. That's what I've done and what I do. Fake it till you make it. I'm king because I have provided a light to lead my people forward in the darkness. And they have made my fictions realities. Some lines that nobody knows what he's saying half the time. It's like yes, no, and once again yes, and then no. Like what the hell? And then Carol's just looking at him like, what, what are you saying? Like, because she's a bit more realistic. She knows a lot of them are probably going to die before they win. But he's like faking it till he makes it. It's quite, quite a good line, really. Like, the way he is, is just, you've got, to a certain extent, you've got to be like that. Positive and have faith. And then if you believe, maybe things will work. Even if it looks bleak. Like, in Walking Dead, it always looks pretty tough. And they seem to find a way around it. But... We still don't know what happened to Gabriel, whether Negan's killed him yet or not, or at all. We don't know. Of course I know, but... Um, so it's hard to, like, keep in touch with, with other characters when so many different things going on. But um, that's the summary of Season 2, really. And Shiva has saved... And, of course... Um, everyone's trying to work out what happened to Morgan, whether he's dead or not as well, because he's on the floor, he's been shot, and he's got up, and like, you don't know what's going on with him at all. Um, and he's just gone mad, he's just shooting everyone. Then he walks out at the end uh, to find Jesus and the rest of them, who have spared the lives of all the workers, or most of them are workers anyway. But one of the guys is like, someone who killed that kid in season 7, that made Ezekiel, uh, not Ezekiel, yeah, that, that was from the kingdom, um, that made Morgan go crazy and kill some other guy, in season 7 anyway, which l led to him hating that guy now, so now Morgan's out there face to face with this guy that he really wants to kill, and since he's been shot, like, maybe like a few minutes earlier, he's got up and he's just shot every, saved them again, um, so what a legendary character that tiger is though. And then more to come from the next episode, all left on like a cliffhanger again. This makes you want to watch the next episode straight away. Um, but for this particular review reaction, this is just episode one and two. So I'm going to end this one here. Thank you for joining me. Um, I will be uploading more um, up until the most recent, the, the season finale, which I haven't seen myself yet, but I'll watch that and then 
I'll give you my f full reaction and review. Um, hopefully you find it interesting. If you haven't, if you're not that into Walking Dead, you might not get all the characters' names and all that straight away. If you are into it, you might have enjoyed this, like from a analytical point of view. If you've already seen it, you'll be like either agreeing or not agreeing or arguing with me or something. But get in the comments if there's anything I missed out, if there's another viewpoint you took from it, uh, let me know. But that is it for episode one and two. Um, I'll be back with three and four. Uh, I'll probably do two in each. And then season finale, I'll leave that for one whole episode. Um, but I'll leave it here and I'll see you guys very soon.